Hi, my name is Isaac, and this is my 2019 Toyota Tacoma. And today, since I wanted to film a video but had no other ideas, I've decided to show you guys some of the mods I've done to the truck. Now, I haven't done any suspension lifts or anything crazy like that. Just little things that I've added that I think you might find interesting and uh, just wanted to show them to you. First off, if uh, you think this is a list of modifications that I've written down, it's not. It's a picture of Scooby-Doo I drew in crayon. I don't know why I have this. Now I'd like to start around back where most of the mods that I've put onto the truck are. I haven't really done too much up front. Nothing past the front wheels. Then a little bit in the cab I'll show you. But pretty much everything that I've added to this truck is here in the back. So uh, for starters, I added a tow hitch um, because I do tow occasionally. Uh, our neighbors let us borrow a little trailer, uh, and then I might add one eventually myself. Next up, I added a tonneau cover, which has been in my videos previously. It's one of the first things that I added. Um, something that I, I find interesting is a lot of people tend to go with the tri-fold tonneau covers, so it folds uh, in a two-split, and then the thing that I don't like is that you then lose about a third of your bed space. So what I did um, is I have a... Uh, Truck Sport, Truxedo, Tanu cover, about $300. I'll leave the links to everything in the description if I can find them. If any, any of this stuff piques your interest, I'll also try to say roughly what I purchased them for. I looked up the prices of pretty much everything right beforehand. But this guy, super easy to install. I did buy a trifold Tanu cover right beforehand. Uh, before I got this one. It's terrible to install. The instructions had a picture of an F-150, which I understand it's not going to have a universal instructions, but the picture of the F-150 used a completely different bracket than they sent me. So I was like, this, these instructions don't help at all. And uh, my dad, my brother, and I could not figure out how to put this on. I brought both of them out. I'm like, I don't know how to do this. So when I did this one, super easy to install. Um, basically, it's three brackets on each side, and then you attach this. But I'll do a quick run over here. So to open up the tonneau cover, there's one little latch on each side that pops it up. And then this one is a rolling one. So it has Velcro on each side. And then you can roll this all the way up. And that's one of the features that I really like about this is I can roll it all the way up to the window so that I have access to the entire space on the bed, um, which I think is pretty cool. Up next, moving on to the bed itself, I have two more mods inside the bed here. First up, uh, I have mentioned I really do like how the bed liner is holding up. I think the composite bed is really good. Uh, but I was noticing when I was cleaning out uh, after my lawn mowing, uh, a lot of gunk would kind of get into the, uh, into the bed here. And I wasn't loving having to clean that out because sometimes I put other items in here that aren't uh, lawn mowing related, like I actually have to haul luggage or stuff like that. Uh, so I wanted an easier and quicker way to be able to clean my bed out. Uh, that solution came in the form of this bed mat that I bought at my dealer. It was about $90. Uh, I'm sure that it's probably about the same everywhere you go. I googled it. Seems to be about $90 uh, wherever genuine Toyota parts are sold. This is the genuine Toyota one. It does say Tacoma across it. It's very cool. I love the Tacoma font. But this is, albeit very heavy, a lot easier to pull out than uh, having to sweep off the bed or wash out the bed, especially after a, a lot of like mud and dirt. I was hauling some topsoil fairly recently, and that was a nightmare to clean out. And with this, uh, it would have been much easier. So now I have this for the future. I really like it, um, and it's awesome. It's really cool. So that is ah, the first thing. Uh, in the bed. The second things are uh, I've added LED lights to the bed. Um, there is no bed lights for this truck barring the one that's right up here. That is a, a functional bed light, but the problem I ran into was that I have a tonneau cover on most of the time. So when the tonneau's on, uh, I don't want to have to flip up the tonneau to look uh, amongst all the stuff in my bed. And so my solution was I got these LED lights on Amazon, a uh, crazy, crazy cheap. They're like 10 bucks uh, for the pair. And uh, they're really sweet. Uh, uh, crazy blessing. 
Um, you can't tell me this is God. Um, I'm sure you can, and feel free to do so in the comments, but I felt it was God. Uh, but I got these, ordered them online. I looked up LED uh, light strips. That's all I looked up on Amazon. And I found these, I wanted black ones. I think I typed in black LED light strips. Found these, and um, they're awesome. But what is so cool, and what I think is a God thing, is that they fit right into these little tiny grooves in the bed. Blows my mind. I'm like, what the, what the heck? I didn't order Tacoma ones. I didn't order, uh, you know, specific ones for any truck. They were just LED lights. They, they had a picture of them going in a house. And miraculously, these fit right into these little grooves here. I didn't really even know where I was going to put them when I got them. Um, but they fit in right here and it's perfect because they're above in a way of where most of the stuff would go. Uh, so they're a lot less uh, at risk to get dinged. And at nighttime in the dark, these things light up the entire bed. So I'd highly recommend those if you have a Tacoma and you'd like to add LED lighting if you didn't get it. Uh, the higher end Tacomas may have that in the bed. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, this SR5 didn't come equipped with that. So that I think is really awesome. Uh, all you have to do is press the lights and they will come on and then press them again to turn them off. So they're really simple. I think they use double A batteries um, and I'm not using them too terribly often. So I threw, I think like energizers in there and usually they're uh, fairly reliable for long term. And then I could just pop them up and uh, put new batteries in when the time comes for that. One more thing I forgot to mention on the back here is that I replaced these little license plate lights with uh, LEDs. They were just the little standard uh, little yellow orangey ones. They were okay, but the LEDs are so much brighter. And I know everybody's made the joke, well, if you're running away from the cops, they'll definitely be able to get your license plate. Well, I'm not planning on running away from the cops and I think it looks cool. So I put those on as well. A lot of this is gonna be lighting. There's a lot of LED lighting I added to this. One more thing I would just love to mention is uh, my window stickers. So technically, obviously not mods. Anyone can put window stickers, and a lot of people do. Some people put far too many. Um, but one of the comments I received on my first Tacoma video was something akin to, ah, oh, I bet he's a, a liberal who's got Feel the Bird stickers on the back of his truck. Now I'll tend to stay away from politics in my videos, don't worry. But I did tell that man in a return comment that I really hope he doesn't play the lottery because he was super wrong. I said, sir, I do have bumper stickers actually. I have, I have two stickers on my back windows. Um, it, one says porn kills love and the other is a Jesus fish that says Jesus and the fish. Uh, I said, I'm planning to go back to college to be a youth pastor. So um, not exactly uh, what you imagine me being uh, when you first guessed what I was. Um, so li little inaccurate there, but I thought it was funny to point that out uh, that I do have these stickers. If you're interested in more information on the Porn Kills Love movement, which I'm sure you are, you're probably going, what? Uh, you feel free to go to fightthenewdrug.com. A lot more information than I could give in this video here. Um, and so yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm not in support of pornography. So bet you didn't think you'd hear that today in a Toyota Tacoma Mods video. And for the last two mods of the day, we move to the interior. Uh, the first one I can't claim responsibility for. Uh, I saw this on a YouTube video and I thought it was so cool that I'm like, I have to do this. Um, so I will link that YouTube channel, probably in the description, I'll put a thing up for his name. I don't remember the channel. I don't usually follow it but I was looking at that video, it was Tacoma Mods, and I saw that he added um, a little magnetic mount right here um, for his phone, and then you put the phone right on it. Oh darn, I'm recording audio with my phone, so I get, all right, okay, all right, so, ugh, we're gonna, you can, it magnets to it, it goes to it with a magnet, I'll, we'll do, we'll do that in a, we'll do that in a cutaway bit. Um, but it, it goes to, I have a mic now that tell me if you think the audio quality is better. I hope it is. I got a microphone, so you can get one of these things for 13 bucks at Best Buy. 
um, one of these little magnet guys, magnets to the back of your phone. You can plop it up there. It's uh, out of the uh, line of sight of any other vehicle, so it kind of just sits right here. Great if you want to use maps or anything or other apps uh, just uh, right in front of you there. The second interior mod I did also has to do with lights. That's my last mod, um, and the most recent thing I've done to the truck is I've added LED dome lights. The dome lights previously in my truck were very dim, and I really kind of like that blue hue that you, that you get with the LED lights, so I decided to replace the interior dome lights with LEDs. Uh, eventually, I do want to move on and replace the headlights up front with LEDs, but that's really expensive. These interior dome lights, I think it was 12 bucks for the pair of these, and for the rears, it was about $5 for that dome light. Um, so pretty cheap, and then all you have to do is take a little uh, screwdriver and you can pop these things out. I'll throw a clip in here of what it looks like at nighttime. I think it's really awesome, and I'm super happy with how it turned out. So those are all the little mods and the little things that I've added to my truck. Hopefully this was helpful in some way. Maybe you even saw something that you said, hey, I'd like to add that to my truck. So I'm going to leave everything in the description with the links. So if you are interested, you can head down to the description and find the stuff there. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. I don't really have anything else. So uh, have a great rest of your day. And remember, no matter what truck you buy, I'm going to be praying it lasts you a long time and is super reliable. Thanks for watching. Take care.